and that Samus doesn't have a lot of ledge dashes, but the no impact, like that aerial interrupt stuff is very good. Oh yeah, you can get the U-air from the ledge, right? Yes. Box Samus. Nutty ledge dashes. Thank you, Ashley. Thank very you. Insightful. One box, one cheater to another. <laughs> we have the inside scoop. Sweetie T going with the patented full hops. Sweetie T is a full hopper, and I really like it here in the Samus matchup. Samus is so floaty in the air that if you can bait her into a jump, that is what you want. Up True. She up air, she up air. No CC, notably. She does kind of lurch, and even like when you have Samus in like the bomb configuration type thing, she's just, that's not where she wants to be. She wants to be holding down, not up. <laughs> down, not up. Yep. Trying to call him. We've already seen some adaptations. Sweetie T taking the top platform. Samus going, trying to do the up air, and uh, Sweetie T punishing that overextension. I will say, I really like what I'm seeing out of Steel Ducks' Samus right now. Um, I think there's like two camps of Samus. There's a uh, like zoner school of Samus, and then there's like the boxer school of Samus, right? Yeah. Are you are you approaching with tilts to try to get your opening? Or are you trying to get them to approach you with um, the missiles? And I, I'm seeing a lot of microspace wave dash after. Fair. Back heel is best heel, and right now Sweetie T is off stage. Up tilt seals the stock. We're even. Three stocks apiece. Almost a minute and a half into our game. We're going to probably be seeing some longer games in this match with the Samus on the screen. Especially just recovering. I think my favorite part about when people want to change the ledge grab, not ledge grab, but like the time limit, Samus. Games versus Samus probably just break that rule because she just takes so long to recover. Not even her camping. Seriously, I feel like anytime I play a Samus. Oh, jeez, that wave dash. And you were saying? Oh, anytime I play a Samus, half the game is spent uh, waiting on ledge uh, for Samus to get near you. It makes good tech skill practice. It makes good tech skill practice, but I also think it requires a um, very strong mental when you're playing this matchup, right? True. You have a lot of downtime between stocks, and I think um, the best players at this matchup are really making use of that time. True. I think a notable thing you should be watching out for in this matchup, at least from the Fox perspective, is how uh, you have to react to the position the Samus is in and watch for their overextensions. Especially since if you hit her and she's holding down, like expect, like during her lag, and you hit her with a stray aerial, you're gonna get down smash. You're gonna get sent off stage. You're gonna get up tilted for the second time, and the stocks are gonna be literally even. This is a this is a very both close hits game. both hits. See like that. And oh. you're just holding down. You can't. Bear's not safe at that percent. Power shield, power shield. It, it does no percent. It's like does quarter damage at that point, but still kind of cool. And the sound effects fun. Whoosh. I think it's just. A, a, oh, oh, power shield, the charge shot. It it matters little, but it looks cool. Okay. Let's see if the cheater angles can take it home. It's really interesting that you pointed out that. Um, that canceled missile on Battlefield because we I haven't seen very much missile from our Samus player. Maybe they're not confident in their execution. Maybe it was kind of just like a warm up your hands type thing. See, like that, but like it just forced him to go low, but it was at a weird height. And I, I think it's also an aspect of like, he's getting kind of zoned out. He's not getting like aggroed. So you're not gonna shoot those missiles. Right. Unless you tried to like counter camp, but I don't think Samus can do that, but I'm not a box Samus and they're way further ahead than me. Ooh, I really like that approaching missile into F Smash, keeping it super safe. True, it's slow enough you can kind of like walk behind it and baby it. And something you'll really, you'll see good players do is run up shield versus Samus, because they'll swing into it and you can get a counter hit, because Samus really doesn't have a grab. Or they have to hard, it, grab is such a huge commitment. So, Sweet DT is using that green skittle a lot right here. The green skittle. But, okay, okay. Sweetie T's out of CC percent. Playing those platforms again. Samus is in the air. This is not what she wants. Oh, it doesn't get quite the conversion I think he was expecting on that. Yeah, it was like the falling down drift situation. He drifted another way smartly and then fast fell through the platform. Really good execution by the ice steel, 13 steel duck. Oh. You can't CC grab. Oh, the reactive shield waiting for spot the getup attack. Oh, gee. God, that was the longest ledge dash I think I've ever seen. Uh, that's not a... Oh, that's a dead fox, and that's one game for uh, I steal 13 steel duck. I, I don't think uh, Sweetie T was ready to get hit by that down tilt. I wasn't ready for True. it. True, but that is not a... 
Koopa Hack Stash Hover Walk Reverse Moon Land. That is not in the same league. Is Even actually... Box can't do that. Even Box can't do that. Is is um is that actually what it's called? Uh, in that order? I uh, I don't know. It's Chat like... can correct me if they would like. It's a it's like super califragilistic expialidocious for melee tech. Was 13 Steel Ducks name randomly generated by old school RuneScape? Great question. I'm not an old school RuneScape player. I have no idea. I've played RuneScape in my dreams and I never actually played it. Is that real? RuneScape <laughs> is dreams? <laughs> no, this is false. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, I wonder what that tells me about you. I don't know. Are you like a psych? You gonna try to? Yes. Yes. Here's my Rorschach test. Oh, uh, I see. What? I see a Samus and a Fox on screen. That's I see down exactly. throw. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking at. And oh my God, how many down throws is Sweetie T gonna get? That was six. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Sweetie T. Thirteen Steel Deck has a read on Fox's uh uppy patterns. Just didn't quite get the read. Oh my God. Oh, mistimes it. That's rough. Nice. Knew the missile was slightly too high and covering the other option with f smash. Very solid. Oh my god, this Samus is Especially so scary. Sweet DT's counter pick. She has the gun loaded up. Double jumping past the power shield. This is like the next level of play. I wonder if they were trying to combo that. I really like Steel Duck holding on to that charge shot here. Gives you a lot of uh, a lot of net leverage in neutral, right? You're always threatening that charge shot. Finally, lets it rip into a shield. I don't know if I love that <laughs> that shot though. It, it was okay. It gives you some space off of ledge, and Samus isn't very good off ledge, even if you have a box. About even. Notably, Sweetie T has a uh, out of CC percent, and notably, he's on ledge now. It's kind of Sweetie T is not getting like perfect glint into up smash to punish these things right now, but. I guess you would go for Shine at when Samus is at zero. Yep. Oh, good angle. That was a nutty angle. Catches the wave dash back with F tilt. Sweetie T off stage again. Sweetie T struggling to get out of the CC percent. Samus is like holding on to these stocks, kind of like a Titan. This uh, this Samus player, their neutral on FD is really interesting. I think FD traditionally a very difficult stage for Samus, especially uh, trying to make anything happen in the neutral game. But he's been getting not only a lot of openings, but a lot of mileage off of those openings. Jeez, box wave dash. Oh, oh no. Uh oh, wrong. 186 shot. out here. Double jump is scouted, but gets down again. Oh, sweetie T counter hitting in those type of situations. Oh, I wonder, comes is the, are those down throw tech chases real? John would know that. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I, it doesn't seem like it, but it looks, Samus is so fat. It probably is. It looks like it's on the fringe. If it's not real, I wonder if he's just um, taking advantage of the fact that Samus isn't buffering a spot dodge or something in that situation. Yeah, Samus would probably just want to hold down. Samus spot dodge is booty. Oh, is it really bad? It's booty. Fox coming out. Fox back to stage. Double lasers. Battle of projectile. We have a power shield. Laser. Yep. I, I guarantee that's a real thing. If he's done it so much. John is very, very optimal. Mr. Sweetie T himself. Ooh. Full hop bearing in. He's getting that, that, caught out for it. Again, he's like, Steel Duck is a, a, anticipating the position where he's going to approach. That that missile that Steel Duck did covered like every tech option, man. That was so smart. Ooh, the double falling air probably want to further portion down the leg. All right, Samus has a charge shot. Oh, but not anymore. John cleaning up the stock. One stock apiece on FD. John's counter pick. This is very important for momentum of the match. The I play football into the Nariel. Ooh, good coverage. Not doing the Midwest of just going to ledge. I don't think he shoot some lasers, but steal the right in his face and gonna steal the game. I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't an intentional pun. That was me covering up me misspeaking. That was painful. Yeah, I thought it was pretty slick. We're it's not as slick as this box Samus, though, and we're back on FD. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I got um, some notes, some info on these players. And I was told Steel Duck is a very defensive Samus player, but that is not what I've been seeing in this set. That's what I've been seeing. They're like bull hop, fade back, missile in, and John's like having to contest it. 
instead of like slowly gaining space but i have no idea honestly how you uh i guess you get more out of uh the juggle situations if you want to play that style but it's tough Ooh, ceases to get up at the back of the down smash does a shine he didn't see the power shield trigger so you couldn't power shield back the, the sakurai uh reflector Sak so good true using it for an intended purpose I, I i think it's pretty good you can't get away with it a lot but it definitely worked out for uh sweetie t in that situation true yes I think the big deciding factor so far is like how good Steel Duck is at mixing up his drift in these juggle situations where an inferior Samus would just get juggled to infinity and beyond on the stage. Ooh, box wave dash, not enough. Gets jab up air for his troubles. John up on his counter pick. Steel Duck's my go. After this, said, maybe uh, me too. I'm really loving what I'm seeing from the Samus right now. Oh, sorry. Duck and a ghost. Misses the jab. Gets the extender. Ooh. Coming back home to Nissel Land. John coming back home to down throw Tech Chase Land, but not looking like Sheik right now. Definitely think John's opting to slow down the neutral game here. Noticing bigger pauses here before our explosive punishes from both of these players. I think that's a good move. Ooh, that's really, really good. Catches John landing. Sorry, Sweetie T landing with down tilt. Guess the stock for it. Yeah, it, very solid melee right now. John looking for like the full hop nair that Sakurai angles. Scoops him up with an up smash. Gets clean hits and we're even. Now John playing the run and gun style. There's the gun, but there's the grab extender. Alien technology has gotten this grab. Every time Samus gets a grab, it feels so bad. That's true. It's like, damn, the soul read. Hey, take this frame 10 grab, nerd. Oh, the up tilt so smart there to knock him out. John on his last stop. Shine, 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 shine. Wave chain up smash, not quite enough. Can we keep the same? This is up smash percent. I steel duck knows this. Oh my god, that was so good. Reverse wave shine up smash, sealing the stock. They're even. John makes it look John's so got them life. John's got them life. Alright, see the laser come out. Oh no! Alien technology into the tech chase, slightly missing it. CC the earth! It seems like every time Sweetie T's opting for the laser, Steel Duck's ready with a tilt in his face. That's Ooh. true. Fox McCloud laser landing out of his recovery, but down smash seals it from oh. the opposite direction. Three. Oh. Three. You don't see that rarely. You see that rarely that Sweetie T gets that, at least at locals. 